بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویورس وی ول ڈسکس یوکلیڈین میٹرک آن آر اینڈ اٹ از آلسو نون ایز یوژل میٹرک آن آر اینڈ وین ایور وی ہیو یوزڈ آر ایز اے میٹرک اسپیس اینڈ اٹ از انڈرسٹوڈ دیٹ یوکلیڈ میٹرک از پینشن دیئر اوکے بک میٹرک اسپیس بک ٹو فالو ایز یو نو ایگزامپل let d is such that from r cross r to r be a function defined by dx y is equal to x minus y mod for all x y belong to r show that d is a metric on r uh, as you know we have four axioms of metric and using this particular definition dx y is equal to x minus y mod we have to prove the, those four axioms this question is asked in 2016 in bs bs math examination and in 2002 2019-95 supplementary 1993 bbs examination and obviously hopefully uh, in many other uh, examinations this question may be asked however the question papers which i got which i could got are mentioned here okay uh, once again i repeat uh, what we have to do we have to prove the four axioms of the metric space using this particular given definition keep in mind here dx y is given to you x minus y mod using this particular definition we have to prove the four axioms of the metric what was the first m1 axiom of the metric we have to prove that dx y is greater or equal to 0 now x minus y mod is the absolute value of the real number x minus y that's why it is non negative and if this it is non negative means x minus y mod is greater or equal to 0 obviously then dx y because dx y is equal to x minus y mod and x minus y mod is greater or equal to 0 therefore dx y is greater or equal to 0 what what was the second axiom we have to prove that whenever we take dx y is equal to 0 x is equal to uh, it implies x is equal to y and uh, whenever we take x is equal to y this gives you dx y is equal to 0 obviously when we take dx y is equal to 0 what will happen dx y is equal to x minus y mod when we take dx y is equal to 0 in fact this conversely implies that x minus y mod is equal to 0 why because our in our definition dx y is equal to x minus y mod and whenever we take dx y is equal to 0 obviously x minus y mod will be equal to 0 and whenever we take x minus y mod is equal to 0 this will give us dx y is equal to 0 and therefore when uh, we uh, we uh, write here dx y is equal to 0 when uh, conversely implies x minus y mod is equal to 0 okay turning to the uh, next uh, axiom what was that m3 symmetricity dx y is equal to dx uh, uh, dx y is equal to dy x but uh, before turning to the third axiom here uh, we have some steps which we have to complete dx y is equal to 0 conversely implies x minus y mod is equal to 0 and this conversely implies x minus y is equal to 0 why because if the modulus of our real number is 0 obviously that real number will be equal to 0 because 0 is the only real number whose modulus is equal to 0 and here when we say x minus y mod is equal to 0 this conversely implies that x minus y is equal to 0 once again i start from here dx y is equal to 0 conversely implies x minus y mod is equal to 0 and this conversely implies x minus y is equal to 0 and obviously this conversely implies x is equal to y and this is the second axiom which we had to prove for all x y obviously this holds for all x y belong to r next turning to the third axiom of the metric dx y is equal to x minus y mod according to the given definition and we can take common negative sign inside the modulus and uh, uh, this negative sign will be absorbed here 
this will become y minus x mod and obviously according to the given definition y minus x mod becomes dyx and it happens for all x y belong to or whenever we replace here x y by other real numbers it will give the same results dx y is equal to dyx due to this uh, definition of the modulus finally m4 x u dxz once again i use the uh, i use the definition of the uh, example in which uh, dxz should be equal to x minus z mod subtracting and adding y in this we have x minus y plus y minus z mod and as you know when we uh, convert single mod to the uh, sum of two mods less it becomes lesser or equal to the single mod is always lesser or equal to the sum of other two modulus therefore this becomes x lesser or equal to x minus y mod plus y minus z mod and uh, uh, x minus y mod as you know is equal to dxy and y minus z mod mod is equal to dyz obviously the fourth axiom of the matrix is proved here dxz is lesser or equal to dxy plus dyz for all x y z belong to r hence uh, after proving uh, all the four axioms of the matrix we have uh, we conclude that d is a matrix on real line r this matrix is called the usual matrix or euclidean matrix on r you should keep in mind that uh, whenever matrix on r is mentioned without giving any definition dx y is equal to something so you should uh, understand this is the usual matrix and this is the euclidean matrix or it may define it alternatively or it may give you any other definition dx y is equal to something like that uh, which is different from x minus y mod then that will not be the uh, usual metric or euclidean metric on r